fourth position on 13 points. 15 goals scored, 14 goals conceded, but that's the man who did finish top, filthy. The man from Canada, been to Miami, been to Vancouver, S1, S2 of the foot jam. He's experienced the ultimate team life. Yeah, and one thing that's jumping out to me here is Filthy finished top on 14 points. He played the per the person he's playing finished fourth with 13 points. Even though it's first versus fourth, there's not a lot at all to separate these two in terms of points. But this guy, SD, STD, sorry, X Dylan, he has the, the game that he had to win to get him in this top four. I tell you now, it was an impressive one. Epsilon Joey, no one could beat that guy in the group. Six, he was unbeaten, came into game number seven, and guess what? That man, STD, X Dylan, got the result. Yeah, Dylan, 15 goals scored, 14 goals conceded. He had a plus one goal difference. As you can see there, representing an eSports organization in Set to Destroy. Do you think there might be a little bit of added pressure on him coming into this game, Brandon? Most definitely, and this could be maybe his first major event, major you know, opportunity to show the world what you can do in the eSports world. Yeah, definitely, and uh, I think we're just, just getting this game finalized as we go into it. Four players already have our, our, four players already <laughs> are in that grand final. A little point to make, STD X Dylan conceded 14 goals. Double Scored the amount. 15, okay. Other hand, Filthy P only conceded seven goals. He's not a man that stands around and concedes goals. Both these players are from Canada, and I tell you now, if that happens, that'll be another country in the in the gist of things. Yeah, it'll be another, another country uh, represented alongside the, the four countries who already have got players there from this American region, the United States, Mexico, Colombia, and Brazil all have representatives there from the first four games the way we've already the, seen. It just shows how the FIFA scene is going, and we are going to jump into that game uh, very, very shortly. Just a little talking point. You know, in previous years, it has always just been US players from USA, players from America that have been there, not the American region of all things. Yeah, it's been represented fully this year with uh, the whole of America, the uh, South and North American region, really proving to themselves and proving to the rest of the world, Europe and the rest of the world region, Qatar, Japan, China, Korea, wherever it may be. That, you know what? We are just as good at this game as yep. the rest of the world. I definitely agree with you. Just seen a few changes there, but it's a two-legged game as always. Ultimate team is the game mode of choice as it has been throughout this whole competition and it will be in the grand final. Well, 16th to the 18th of August. It's the ultimate team, big event, more importantly, the FIFA Interactive World Cup, huge grand final in London. Yeah, where the winner will be walking home with $200,000 in his pocket, and it'll be $200,000 richer. Not only that, there will be esports clubs, football clubs at this event, represented by some of the players here. There'll also be a lot of free agents at this club. Yeah. Clubs will be coming towards them saying, you know what? Get a pen, sign this paper, play for us for a year, play under us, earn a salary. More importantly, be recognised in the scene. Yeah, be recognised by a football club. Not only the big clubs, but also the smaller clubs in uh, real life football are getting involved. You've got a, a very large Scandinavian uh, demographic who are getting involved with FIFA. You've got in the in the English league, you've got in the championship, the first club to get an eSports player, Wolverhampton Wanderers, their player, Nathan Richards represented. I'm sure yeah. in the upcoming months, yeah. FIFA 18, he'll be trying to get into this interactive World Cup environment. The Scottish yeah, no, no, League, obviously, West Irish Ham United, League. Man City from the Premier League. I can't wait till the Premier League goes mad. Obviously, our own home uh, major division. That'd be fantastic to see that one hit off. But, you know, there's countries that are already doing it. E Divise, Holland, Liga 1, France, Virtual Bundesliga. When will the MLS come involved? When will they all just go mad for eSports FIFA? Yeah, we've seen with the... the, the uh, news articles released from FIFA 18 that it's going to be club tournaments. It's going to be club tournaments. It's going to be a lot more um, in-depth the eSports world of FIFA 18. And to try and bring crowds so along and it's going to grow. It's going to be a snowball effect. It's going to grow and grow and grow. That could be a huge opportunity for some of these guys. You know, just they don't think that this is just a game of FIFA if you're watching home. It's got it's so much so. more. Yeah, it's, it can be a lifestyle. You can learn. You can earn a living off this game. Not going to be a penalty. That's going to be a corner ball instead. Marcelo just got a little niggle on that one uh, from Ronaldo, and here will come the cross. So it is Filthy P in the home uh, Canada strip up against STD X Dillon. He's going to win that header at the front post, and they is going to claim it. Yeah, long throw up to Luis Suarez. Let's see what he can do. Bring other players into the game. Into Vieira. Now into Ronaldo over the top for Luis Suarez. Can he beat Ronaldo to the ball? 
Cristiano Ronaldo doing the defensive work there for Dylan. Did it for a change, up just standing around with his hands on his hips up the top of the field, like giving the ball because I can finish him, but he can defend as well. He can do what he wants, he can do both things as he needs to. Vieira, this could be a chance now for STDX, Dylan. And that one is another big hand save, an interesting start from that man. Remember, these players are both from Canada, so we know 100% there's going to be five different nationalities. Yeah, and you, not only that, but do you show these two players have been from the same country before? They all played against each other, yeah, they'll know how definitely. each other play. They could be friends, they could have practiced together, sparring partners. Just thinking, what sparring partners? These guys practiced against each other. Suarez went for the shot, and Davidea tested three times in three quick successions. First 20 minutes, all Dillon in this final. It's a two-legged game. The winner of this will be taking that fifth spot from this American region to represent the Americas in the FIWC Grand Final in London. The biggest eSports free event today. $200,000 for one of those lucky 32. And there's David De Gea again. And if you don't want to get involved on social media, use the hashtag FIWC Americas or tweet at FIWC who you think is going to win this game. And more importantly, who you think is going to win the whole Grand Final. Who you think is going to come out as your winner? Will it be Italian Rocky? Will it be a two times world champ? Suarez. Oh, lovely Berber spin inside there. He's not going to work that occasion for him. Pele. You know, this is the Xbox side of things. The legends are in action. If you wonder what a legend card is, that's a legend right there. Rude Hullet picked that one out the back of the net. STDX Dylan is in front. What a start. You've got to say it's been coming from Dylan. Huge, huge sigh of relief there. And you heard the, the cheers come out from the, the people, his friends here to support him. Hullet, it's probably 20 yards out on his right foot, fires it into the back of the net. Pick that one nowhere out near the that back one. of the net. It was about time. Daya tested one time, two time, three time. Unfortunately, Daya, you're not getting to that one. Yeah, one thing that I, it is important to, to look at before this game, the one game that Dylan needed to win to clinch that fourth spot, it was the final game of the day. Round seven, he's going to be tired, he's going to be fatigued. Who did he come against? Top of the group, Epsilon Joey. He beat him four goals to three. He ended Joey's undefeated streak. He proved to himself that when he needs to, when he needs the three points, when he needs to win, he can do it. And this is exactly how he started this game. And, you know, Dylan, look at the position he is now. He's come out of that group in fourth place. Remember, Filthy P, he finished top of the group. STD, Exton, he finished fourth. What a difficult group that was. You know, nice schools, unfortunately, couldn't be there. Wish him all the best. But Costella, out. Medibob, out. They were out. They were some big fan favourites in there. The ones that did get through, Roma Man, he's in London. He won his tough, or well, very tough, qualifier early on. The man that finished third in that group. You know, a number of other big players were in that. XX Benz, he got out of that group as well. So many names. It was a group of death. Yeah, definitely. And S D S T D X Dylan set to destroy Dylan. Huge, huge start of course, for this game. Again, Epsilon Joey, the man that topped the group. Number of points, 18 points, six games won, one game lost in the end to this man, S D X Dylan. There's a reason Chance why he's this stage. Chance of filthy for George Best. Somehow still just connected on that one, but. Ronaldo again in a very defensive right hand position there. Get, get yourself up the field, Ronaldo. Yeah, I got asked uh, a little bit ago by a lot of the a couple of the pros who are still at the event representing and supporting their friends. Who do you think is going to win this game? I said, you know what? Dylan is a chance. Chance for 2 0. There we go. The legends are striking. There's Pele as well. This is exactly what I'm going to say. Dylan knows that when he needs to get a win, when it's the most important game, when it's the most vital game of one of his FIFA careers, he gets the three points, he gets the victory. He's 2 0 up in 38 minutes, doing what he does best. And that was Pele there that made it two. Hullet made it one. Pele made it two. Where's the next legend coming from? Is it going to be Patrick Vieira making it three? Is it? Or is it going to be that man, Cristiano Ronaldo? The future legend that wouldn't surprise me in years to come when he retires. He will be in this game still, somehow. You cannot live FIFA without that man. Yeah, yeah what a card Ronaldo is. The 99 team of the year, Ronaldo. Pretty much in every single player's team. I, I don't think I've seen a team without Ronaldo in it. Uh, maybe one who used a full Premier League team, but uh, I'm sure he will on the bench to come on. And what a little, what a mountain we got forming here for uh, for Filthy Peter to climb. I know he was practicing earlier, having a joke around with Janos, who's already in London, but now the jokes have stopped. Now you need a performance. Yeah, now it, it is really the serious time and set to destroy Dylan. He's come out. 2-0, 45 minutes gone, proving to himself, proving to everybody who's watching, you know what, just because I finished fourth, that means absolutely nothing. 
in Munich. I'm going to refer back to it. What happened? Kurt, 10 points, finished top of the group. Played Millennium Maestro, finished fourth on one point. What happened? You got knocked Kurt out. Kurt went out five goals to one. Yeah. Do you know why? Because you come into this game thinking you're the top man. I've you're got the an easier draw. Yeah, you're, you're the winner of your group. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. There's 32 of the best here. 16 today, eight left to play. After this game, six left to play. And there's half time in the first game. And it's 2 0 to STD X Dillon. Two of the finest goals to make it 2 0. Big, big first half from Dillon. You can see the uh, the red of Canada here. Uh, not too sure who this is. Both players are playing as Canada. This is, this is Filthy's Filthy team. P, yeah. Son on the right. Don't, not seen him involved all game long. George Best at centre attacking mid. Ronaldo on the left. Suarez up top, I think that is. Not, no, you're not using Pele. Is that a, do you agree with that? Do you disagree with that? Not many players. The 95 rated okay, Pele. Yes, you can use legends, but Pele's normally on the bench for a lot of these guys, even in Europe as well. Okay, Pele features in some teams, but it's normally Ronaldo, Messi, Suarez, Vieira, 100% in there, Bullet, 100% in there. You know, there's so many good players, as you said. When these guys get here, they can use they're using a special edition of FIFA 17, a special esports competitive edition where they can use any player in the game up to the 2nd of June. They can use so they're stuck for choice at times. That's why they put strikers in centre midfield because they want them to be involved still. Yeah, I'll never forget Pele. What a huge impact he had on that uh, big final against uh, for Vitality Rocket against Shells in Berlin. Pele did score the winning goal yeah. to clinch Vitality Rocket the win, and more importantly, one hundred sixty thousand dollars. Here's Humming Sun there, just trying to feed that ball to the ongoing run of uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. That's it's going to get intercepted there. That was a free on one Ronaldo. Again, he's so deep on this right-hand side. Best Probably got to stay back while attacking. Maybe, on. yeah, maybe he has. But when he's got a born finish like Ronaldo around, I'm not leaving that you, far behind. You typically see Ronaldo play that striker. I think Dillon is using him at his uh, original left wing position. So that's an interesting point as well to, to point out that is uh, relying on Suarez up top for him, Pele in behind Suarez. We'll see what uh, this second half brings, but with two goals in it. The goal comes back for Filthy B just before we hit that second match. You know, everything's to play for. One goal, that's all it's to play for. Or will it be a, a big scoreline again? Will it be like a 7-1 from Janos or a huge 6-0 six -nil. Six -nil win from Rain 10? What a big result that was in the end. Yeah, 6-0 victory for Rain 10. Booking his place against Impact or Margado. We just saw that on the live stream. But right now, 60 minutes in, STDX Dillon 2 0 up in this first leg. I think the good thing about Dillon is, just looking at the records here, he, con he conceded one less goal than he scored. Scored 15, conceded 14. This guy ships goals, he concedes them. I'll tell you what, this is a new man we're seeing at the moment. Sort of Rain 10. Rain 10, no for conceding goals. Didn't concede a single goal when he most needed to not concede. Yeah, when, when the music hits and it's the most important time, I talk about it time and time again. If you're an actor, it's fine doing your, your, your theatre at your local theatre in front of 50 people. When you're on the West End, when you're on Broadway, it's all about performing to the best of your ability. That's exactly what Dylan's doing here. And could there be a way back, Filthy P? Try and just use the scoop turn, trying to use any way just to try and make that inch of room to get a shot away, finesse or a, a low driven, whatever you, you need to get out of your, your locker there. Yeah, these Looking players at. have got a, an armory of shots to use. They know the what finesse. works. They know when the finesse works. The more driven, the more driven. Yeah, have a long shot. Have a shot, Ronaldo. Unnecessary fake shot for me. He had him on his right foot. Have a go. Oh, that would have been a wonderful passing <laughs> to Suarez's feet, but Suarez just ran away from him. Long throw, shot. though. This could be a potential counter attack from Dylan, but Phil through the second half, he, he's got more of a groove into the game. He's got more of a foothold into the game, you could say. And, He's slightly starting to build, showing where he did finish top of his respective group yesterday. Here we go. Suarez there, just trying to get a sniff. The ball, trying to just clear it through there. Here we go. Can he be any bit of pressure now? Suarez, Ronaldo. Suarez again. Could it be free? Could it be worse? Get on the end of it. I thought he was going to just flick that over the top of the goalkeeper, and he, he did try. Short corner played into Marcelo. Look for that run of Ruud Hullet at the front post. The need to though, he's just using that skill dribble to run down the byline, and it was an acrobatic effort from a very long way out that wouldn't be troubling uh, the keeper if there was any kind of connection on there. Look for that run of Patrick Vieira there. He's got two options. Patrick Vieira's not the fastest, don't get me wrong. There's Patrick Vieira, play him. Patrick Vieira, he said the legend was going to score, and he does. Yes. Let's go. That's a filthy P. He's come alive. Did, should I uh, should I get the crystal ball out and see how this game's going to finish? Because I said Patrick Vieira would be the next goal scorer. He's done that. 
What a finish that was. We said watch for the runner Patrick Vieira. He played it into Suarez, let the players pull into him. I think it was Laurent Blanc who did pull out a position. Vieira carried on his he run. Low driven shot across the goalkeeper. 2 1. Game on. 70 minutes gone on the clock, I think it is. The story of legends at the moment. It was pull it. Pele, and now back to Filthy P with a reply of Patrick Vieira saying, you know what, you've got your legend story, I've got them too, and they can perform just to the level you can. I said a goal could really change the complexion of this game. If it stays like this, and we go into the next game, one goal is only needed. But watch, just watch how everything changes now. Watch how the pressure, the momentum changes. Look, this is where a new man's just come alive now. Filthy P, he knows he can score, he knows he can create chances now. And it wouldn't surprise me if it's 2-2 two -two very shortly. Yeah, definitely. The, the momentum in the players' mindset has completely switched. The psychological side of the game, you could say, the, the, the scales have slightly gone in Filthy's favour after scoring that goal. Let's see if he can capitalise on that, though. Capitalise on the mental uh, I think the hardest thing for these guys is, you know, they're playing at such high level as it is, when they've just conceded a goal, OK, yes, you're two and up still, to get have that confidence to go and get in front again is the hardest thing possible. And when you do get it, the only player I can think that can do that is Prince of Bay, Uni Lag Gorilla, Vitality Rocky, that level of stats. The very, very best. They're used to playing at the highest level. Oh, time and time again. Oh, we got yes! the equaliser. It's easy as that. Into the feet, scoop turn. We'll place that one in the bottom corner. 2-2, two -two, and we're all square. We are all square. He played it down the line. I think it was uh, Hummings Son, in fact. Knocked the ball into Luis Suarez's feet. Scoop turn, create that inch of space, which you cannot allow him to do. It was Ronaldo, in fact, playing the ball into Suarez. Scoop turn, pass Ramos. And it was that simple. I said I had a sniff of a goal. There it is. 2-2, two -two. we're back to 0-0. Goals at this level, a 2-0 lead. Does it mean anything? does not mean anything at all. In the context of the game, in the two-legged affair, this first leg is very much of a, a warm-up, a, a tester, it's feeling out your opponent. I'm sure these two players will play each other time and time again, but not on this level, not with the lights, not with the cameras, not with the huge stakes at offer. Huge stakes in uh, Los Angeles as well. 2-2 two -two is the score here, and it's... An interesting one. A 2 0 lead. Now we're all square at 2 2. Yeah, Vieira picks up the ball here from Dylan. Let's see if we can get back into this game after being 2 0 up and throwing away that lead. Finds the run over it now, though. Back into Spire. Into into Pele. Pele. Is it another legend again? Ooh. It's the legend show. It was. Here Always we go. Far, this attack isn't over yet. Pele from distance. Sergio Ramos will get in the way of this one. Will there be anything dropping any time of two minutes? But what a spectacle this first game has ended as 2-2. Two, two. A 2-0 two advantage it was to STDX Dylan. Now Phil VP is back. 2-2. Two, yep. two. The slate has well and truly been cleaned from Filthy. It was 2-0 down in this game until the 75th minute. STDX Dylan has thrown away a two-goal lead, which could be huge in the complex of this game. Got to remember, it's a two-legged affair as well, so this is only half time, you could say, in this game. The winner will be getting the sixth, the fifth, spot to London uh, and what you know a result it would be indeed it would be a huge you know marker to say you know what that spot's mine it'd be the fifth spot from here but I believe it would be the 27th spot in London in that grand final a lot of uh, mathematics to play here but 32 of the best it was from America's or the American region and still a long way, 2-2, two, two, you know, 2 nil. it was a 2 nil lead to SDX Dylan. that was wiped it's straight any, away. It's anybody's game, this, between these two players, 2 nil lead, back to 2-2, two, two. <sighs> this second leg plans to be interesting. We know how we're feeling, but let's go over to Jump to see how those players are feeling. Thanks a lot, guys. It was seeming like a moment of control for Dylan for the most of it. And in the 75th and 84th minute, you were able to get those two goals to bring it back. Now, how do you feel with this coming into the second half? Are you gonna change anything or what's on your mind? Uh, I'm not gonna change anything. I'm just gonna play the way I played in the last 20 minutes, just keep the possession, you know, try to look for the smart plays. Now, with that on your side, we saw control, a lot of it. We saw the flashy plays every time you scored, and it seemed as if things were kind of lost in your favor for a little bit. What are you going to do to kind of switch things up and hopefully get back in control? Well, I'm just going to go back to how I was playing in the first half, and uh, hopefully that works for me in this game. It definitely is something that you have to think about. And now it seems as every time that you scored those goals, obviously when you're behind and you can do something to get back into it, those emotions are going. But you're standing up, you're loud, you're excited. What are your emotions feeling right now coming into the second half? 
Uh, my emotions that I'm really happy that I tied that series up. You know, if I was down to nothing going to the second game, it would have been a really different, different match. He would have just played possession and killed the game off. So scoring those two goals, was, I was really fortunate to score them. It was short, it was quick, but now we've got the next one coming up. Guys, let's go to you. Thank you, Jump. He said very fortunate there to get two goals back. Okay, Dylan wasn't too happy with his performance, but let's talk about the groups. Remember, it's group one versus group four. Dylan, oh, sorry, not group one. First place versus fourth place. Group three and four. Xbox group one versus Xbox group two. Top of the group, Filthy P over in group three. Fourth place. Uh, Dylan, very hard group. Costello was in there. Medibob, they didn't make it through. You also need to, to put into consideration as well, even though it is a first versus fourth clash, these two players only finished on 14 and 13 points retrospectively. So there wasn't a lot to separate these two sides. That's that's the thing that's really coming to show here. It's 2-2. Two -two. It's anybody's game. Well, let's go and have a look at that first leg of the action. 2-2 two -two was the score. Dylan did take the lead in this one. We're going to get all the footage for you. Here it was. It's Rude Hullet. Bang. What a Thank strike. you very much. That was a legend. As we said, it was the legend show. Here comes the next legend, Pele. There's 2-0 to Dylan. Yeah, he made it 2-0 and you thought he was going to take this game then and push on maybe 3-4-0. But Filthy had other ideas. Suarez he came another legend the ball through to the air of all people to get a goal, to bring a little bit of hope back. And it was Ronaldo. What a little bit Here of comes his scoop skill. turn. Place it past De Gea. And next thing you know, we're all square there. And you can see what it meant to him there. Yeah, he did exactly what he needed to do. Got the game back to two goals each. And... This second leg is going to be huge for both of these players. FIFA careers, filthy, finished top of the group. He wants to represent himself in a good light. I know he's good friends yeah. with, uh, I think it's AA9 skills, so he's going to have a lot of support coming in yeah. from him, who unfortunately couldn't join us for this tournament. But what a game this is going to be, Brandon. And what an end in this, you know, this competition's having. At the moment, we already know that there's going to be four you know, different nationalities. Colombia, Mexico, USA, and Brazil are already that four. And guess what? Well, one of these boys as well, isn't it? Canada, or Canada? Canada, sorry. Me and my Canadians aren't, aren't really working <laughs> out at the moment, but Canada, spot number five, spot number 27 in that grand final. So five different nationalities will be there. It's always normally a USA show, but it's the way that eSports' is FIFA's going. It's changing. You know, new people are playing the game. We heard from one player, Epsilon Joey. He's going to be competing soon. He said a few years ago, he stopped playing competitive FIFA because it wasn't going anywhere. Now, this year, they went EA Sports. They took that market to FIFA 17. We really know what FIFA 18 is going to bring, and it's looking better and better day by day. Yeah, it's going to be huge for FIFA 18 with more football clubs and eSports organizations getting involved. But what are these two players playing for? What's the high stakes? It's going to be a place at the FIFA Interactive World Cup Grand Finals where the winner will receive $200,000. But there's going to be some very, very tough competition, Brandon, at this tournament. It's not going to be easy. Shells will be there. It's Alexi Rocky. We've said those boys quite a bit. You know, Tony K, he's going to be there as well. Very good Dutch player. Ajax Danny. Fantastic player again. In my opinion, one of the favourites recently. He went to Amsterdam in his machine. home country. An absolute machine, that guy. Won the Ziggo E-Battle beating Hashtag Tass, something a lot of people might not know about in the final. He then went on and won the Hawks Pro Cup online in association with the EC United Hawks. Who did he beat in that tournament? He beat Marlow uh, to win that trophy. He beat Kurt. Sean Allen. He beat Kurt. And then he beat Painter in the final, representing XL. So some huge players in that uh, FIFA Interactive World Cup Grand Final, but Enough of the grand final. One of these two players will be getting there. And let's find out who in this second leg. 90 minutes of virtual FIFA. Just remains these two. 15 minutes of real time. And just looking at the teams there, Dylan, I saw four legends involved there. It was a mixture of Hullet. Uh, Hullet, sorry. Hullet Blanc. Uh, best and Vieira. Best and Vieira, sorry. Four players in there and four of the very best. Yeah, it seems to be three is the magic number for legends this year. It seems to be Ferdinand's. Long, uh, Ferdinand, Hulley and Vieira. Some use Pele, some use Best, some use Blanc, some use even Van der Sar, but the legends are there to be used and use them they will, the Xbox players. I'll use them and abuse them, as you say. <laughs> Scoring all the goals in the first leg, really. Three of the four goals were scored by legends. We don't normally see Vieira on the end of goals, but they were on that occasion. Yeah, showing how good these legends are and some of the stats that they do possess in the game. First chance falling here for Dylan Suarez on the ball. Played into Hullet. Can he replicate that first goal that he did score last game? And it will be a very interesting spectacle, this one. Yeah, Dylan is the, the player in the ascendancy here. Humming Son into Suarez. Going to look for that run over the top for Hullet. 
only as far as Marcelo falls back to home mint on turns on his right foot his five star weak foot right foot or left foot Ooh, and just to the side net in there yeah corner going to be whipped in here played short into Marcelo look for the, the ball onto the edge of the box there for uh, Laurent Blanc played into Marcelo Marcelo into Hullet but it now Suarez half turn surely for Dylan. there's a chance there just trying to knock on the door and it's going to be an interesting spectacle in this game yeah De Gea playing the ball forward here only as far as Rude Hullet ball flicks onto Marcelo Patrick Vieira in possession into George Best Best into Suarez looking for that runner Best again forced to Hullet is he going to take on the shot at White's side about White's on Min Sung maybe whip that one across the box and De Gea will get there Pull it now on the edge of the box. Walker trying to just link up there with Hullet, trying to find a way forward. Vieira knocking on the door. Suarez, maybe a shot now. Walker back into Vieira, and that will be cleared by Walker. He's knocking on the door on each other's hands. Who will break the deadlock? Who will make the breakthrough now? Messi just striving forward, trying to find a way through. Son bringing it forward, only as far as Luis Suarez down the line here. Into Son, that 90 rated Hong Min Son card, the Korean player from Spurs. 94 pace, 95 shooting. One of their favourites in the game, Hong Min Son on the ultimate team. He's one of the best to use, one of the favourites to use Hong Min Son into George Best. Pull it now, into Vieira. Trying to find out about welcome to the stream if you have just joined us the FIFA Interactive America's regional final. We already know that four of the places have been confirmed with four different nationalities. It will be five different nationalities as well. Canada will be there at the big grand final. So we can confirm that Filthy is playing in white and uh, Dylan playing from uh, right to left in the uh, away Canada kit. Uh, As far as Pelle plays in for inside, uh, filthy into George Best. Look for that run over the overlap from Ronaldo into Suarez. Look for that run of Suarez. Ramos picks it up there. What a card that is! 96 rated team of the year. Sergio Ramos in the way. So just to confirm, it is SDX, STDX Dylan kicking from left to right in that red Canada strip, and it is filthy P kicking from right to left. Apologies on that one. That has been confirmed by the admins. Uh, but all square still, we haven't missed any goals, so that is fantastic. Suarez there with a finesse, and that was going to take a little nig off the head there from uh, from Marcelo. Yeah, you can never be too sure with uh, players like Suarez, that 98 team of the year can score goals from anywhere yeah. we've seen this tournament so far. So. And the Bullocks uh, comes back to mind, he scored a, a the Bullock goal special like that with Suarez from that far out. Yeah, I wonder if we're going to see any Bullock specials here today. Filthy P, Walker. Hum Min Sun, he hasn't really been that efficient this tournament. I don't know whether the, you know, the, the Team of the Year cards of Ramos has kept him at bay. Yeah, possibly some of the, the Team of the Season cards as well might have overshadowed him a little bit. We've got Aspilicueta, who's a very, very good centre-back with high pace, high defending. We've got uh, David Luiz as well. Maybe they've uh, pushed Hung Min Sun out a little bit, but he is in use here from Filthy. And let's see if he can make an impact on this game. If he can make the all-important difference. Walker, Blanc the interchange this round is enough needs to get his foot back on the ball because he had such a strong start SDX in and he could be down now filthy P yes! turns to get in front that's how you turn a game round 2-0 down in the first leg 2-2 by full time now we're in the second leg he's drawn first blood 3-2 up now yeah he has taken the lead for the first time in this semi-final in this final in fact uh, it's a one-legged uh, two-legged single elimination two bracket yeah. there we go and he has taken the lead Suarez Elvis. The man that always seems to be amongst the goals here is Messi, Suarez or Ronaldo. This time, Suarez will take the lead. We'll take the first punch towards London. Three goals to two now. Yeah, you then switch him. See, switch straight on towards the defensive. Get men behind the ball. He's happy to take this. One deal is not enough. Could this be equaliser? Another day, that one gets a yard in front, and that could be a low driven across the box. That could be free free all square. Yeah, huge recovery tackle there from Sergio Ramos. Only... Uh, the only man back the ball there. around here, Dylan there, and 
He's on. Going up filthy there, very uh, dangerous it's, area. It's calm, but he has lost out there to Pele. Here comes Dylan, though. Back to Pele. Just trying to rush things, you know. No surprise when you're a goal down, you're not going to be too happy. You're going to be going to get yourself straight back in the game. Suarez. Just trying to get something forward now. Filthy P wants another goal. He wants to get in front by two goals to nil. Because one goal is not enough. Two goals isn't enough at this level. We saw a two-goal lead go to nothing. A two-goal lead go to waste in that first game. And now the tables have turned. Three goals to two. Filthy P is up. Both these players obviously are from Canada, as you can guess, playing in their ex perspective kits. Yeah, Hullet here trying to get Filthy back in front to extend that lead to four goals to two. Dylan doing his best here. 45th minute just about to click over. And uh, Filthy, 1-0 up currently in this second leg in the context of the game. You can see the overlay at the top of the screen. Three goals to two, he does lead. He does indeed, and we're just going to hit that half time very shortly. Two minutes that has been indicated, sorry. What about 10 seconds of extra time? One more chance. It's going to fall to Dylan if he wanted to take it, but Vieira just doing what Vieira does best, clearing things up. One more attack for Filthy P now. Ronaldo with that ball across the box, just get in front of that man. Oh, oh does ever so well. On the edge, George Best there, and Lovely. he couldn't get anything behind it. That's probably the perfect example of the Berber spin there uh, in full force. Down the line, Berber spin inside. It's just, it's so, when people use skill moves in the way that they do, it's wonderful to watch. What a dominant performance from Filthy in this game. Dylan has not had a single shot, hasn't even had a single chance in this game. Changed something up and sorted it out, so we can't see what he's up to. We can only see what uh, Filthy P is up to here. Seven shots, five on target, 70% possession. Dominance personified in those stats there from Filthy. And it'll be ready to get straight back into this game. I don't think he made any changes. He just changed the, the way that he wanted his players to, to be uh, utilised on the pitch, stay back or attacking. Probably was the go-to tactic used. Especially and when he's in front. He doesn't want to you know, get players over committing for no reason. 45 minutes away from London. 45 minutes away. What's that? Maybe seven minutes real life time just to put that into perspective. If you think that's no time at all, trust me. We've all been in the game of FIFA, probably all these viewers as well. You know how hard it is. You feel like time is take going by very, very slowly. Especially when you're trying to hold on to a lead oh, as well. Um, everything that you do, you're overanalyzing every single thing that you're doing. The concentration level that you need to defend so well against a player, even the normal player. This isn't the normal player. He's playing against STX Dillon, set to destroy Dillon, a fantastic player from this American region. And when your back's against the wall, as you said, Rich, one goal, it's not enough. You feel like everything is going against you, the momentum waves are are hitting you, and here comes Filthy P. The best thing you can do right now is get again. another goal. As soon as that goal goes in, the, no the nerves will settle. Yeah, and if Dylan does score, just to put this into perspective, we will be going to Golden Goal. A brand new game will be restarted, and it will be the first player to score. Will book their place to London. Simple completely as completely fair, full fitness, simple as it is. Golden Goal, first place to score, you go to London. But he's still got a big job on his hands before he can do that. Dylan needs a goal, playing that red. Uh, he's filthy, dominating. He is, he's dominating. dominating the ball. Has a shot come in yet for Dylan? I don't think it has. It's not, no, this could be it though. Pelle trying to uh, run against Laurent Blanc. Chip through ball, not really any conviction at all there. Is this the group, Dylan? Is this the group format going back to Hornet? Remember that, you know, Filthy P, he was top of his group for a reason. SDX, STDX Dylan, he had a very tough group. I also think this could be Filthy here. Uh, showing to not only us but all the viewers as well this is why i did finish top of my group this is why i was the best player in group three group one on the xbox finished on 14 points top of the pile this is why i'm here that's why he's here and he scores goals as well 16 of the best yeah! but there you go he's got a 2-0 lead there a big fist bump it's that man again Vieira, patrick Vieira. he got him a goal back in the first game now he's got him a big goal in the second game he's popped up with so many clutch goals when he needs him patrick Vieira, filthy yeah, he's not happy there, Dylan, with the defender. You can see it there. Falls back to Vieira in the middle of the pitch, middle of the box, slots it home. I think it was Vieira makes it two. It was Blanc there, or Hullet. He wasn't happy with one of them, didn't follow I think the runner. just fell over. One of them just fell over, one of them didn't make the run. It was pretty simple than that. Went through the gap of the two players. We can't see what Dylan will be doing now, but I can tell you now, he'll be making big changes. Still no shots, possession stats exactly the same. Yes, yeah, 70% still, eight shots, six on target from Filthy. Just showing why he's one of the best in this region and possibly one of the best players in Canada currently. And here we go. This is where you need to be clever. Remember, he's got a 2 nil. A 2-0 advantage? Yeah, 2-0 advantage, 4-2 overall in this game. But as you can see on stream, sorry, this is SDX, and this is 
STDX in. He is changing a few things up now, going for he's, an attacking 4 3 3. He switched the 4 3 3 attack. He's put Hully in at right centre mid. I can't. I think it was Suarez in at Cam. Pele oh. also there. 4 2 3 1 as well. Flat is the choice of formation for Filthy P as well. He's got a two goal lead. Doesn't need to play five at the back. Maybe he just wants to show a bit of respect still. Or maybe he thinks this ties an over yet. I think that's what he is thinking. I think he's thinking. If I can get me two CDMs just to sit in front of that back four and anchor the defence, I then can use my four attacking players to try and counter-attack when my opponent does come on to attacking, ultra-attacking and really come on to me. Dillard he there needs to go, though. though. He needs to go, and he needs it very soon. Comes before the 65th minute, he's got every single chance before the 70th minute, really. Be a bit nice to him there. Ronaldo, is Suarez on side? He is on side. Just is, but he runs the ball out of play for a goal kick. 65 minutes gone on the clock. As it stands, Filthy will be progressing and taking the fifth spot from this FIWC American qualifier into London for that huge grand final later on in August. What a huge grand final it is as well. So much at stake. $200,000. $200,000. The biggest FIFA eSports event to date will be happening in London, 16th to 18th of August. I'm sure you'll be able to watch it all live on watch a it as stream, it unfolds. Yeah. Watch how everything unfolds and there's going to be broke up into three days and oh, that could have just that slotted just into that bottom corner into there. The bottom corner. That would have been a nice little finish indeed. Yeah, Suarez just opened up his body there with a the finesse shot. We spoke about Suarez earlier, that 98 team of the year Suarez. It can score from anywhere on the pitch. You cannot give him any sort of room to uh, line up a shot because he will take it. He's not going to mess about at all. Hummin Song now just links it in with George Best. Haven't really seen much of Hummin Song today. We saw a bit more of him yesterday. He hasn't seen the, what he's like in Europe. In Europe, he was popping up here, there, and everywhere with the goals. And Ronaldo. Suarez oh, playing a ball high through ball to Messi. Needs a goal, Dylan, if he wants to get back into this tie. Just going to try and whip that ball in if he can. Just trying to find an inch of room, maybe. And recycle back on the edge, he does. Marcelo and then Vieira will intercept. That's kind of summed up. He hasn't really had a purpose in any attacks. So I don't know what's happened with Dylan's confidence. Mindset yeah. must have changed. I think that, that, that's a, a fantastic way to put it. I think his mindset has changed. I think the, the mental side of his game just maybe. Oh, here we go. Strong. The big goal back. Vieira! I just said his mental game isn't as strong. Dylan makes it 4 3. This is very, very much game on. It is game on indeed. 4 3 the score. He needs one goal and then we're going to golden goal. He's got time as well. Just over 10 minutes in game time left. Two minutes. Get into that sub bench now and make a change. That's what you need to be saying. Make a change. Is it going to be a pause from kickoff from Philby? No, it's not. So he's going to carry on the way he is. He's not going to five at the back. Something that a lot of players would do at this stage. One goal separates him and London. If he holds on to this lead, he will be going to London. If he concedes now, we will be going to a golden goal scenario. We will be indeed. And this is where you need to be clever. Keep your position in the right areas, but more importantly, as long as you've got the ball, Dylan can't be doing anything to you. You can't be scoring any goals. No danger. Exactly. Keep the ball in your opponent's third. I'm in Sun now. Into Hullet. You can see that back line really opening up there. Have a shot, maybe, or just recycle back on the edge. I'm in Sun. We'll just get them, or it'll be Suarez, sorry, back to goal on that bar line. And he does win a corner ball. Yeah, short corner going. We played into Marcelo. Let's see what we can do with it. Look for Son there, just pulling away, just peeling off his man. Will it? Suarez. George Best with a finesse. And I nearly worked out for him. Yeah, fantastic effort from Filthy. The next goal will be the all important goal in this game. If it is, Filthy gets it, you've got to say, he's going to London. Ball crossed into the box. The Hayat picks it up. Short throw there, though. That could be huge. Filthy does pick it up with George Best. Back on the attack. Here we go. Last chance saloon now. Just literally in game minutes left. George Best. Vieira. Ronaldo. Oh, this interchange. Could this be game over? Game set and match. Big. That would have been a penalty. If that shot did not come away, that would have been a penalty there. Yeah, that's a huge, huge turning point in this game. If that goes in. It's now game or never. Over. Now or never. You can't be just forcing past like that. Get your foot through it. High through ball at least. Yeah, do you think this is the. The panic. The experience of Filthy pulling through, though, has been a, an experienced FIFA player. Dylan, he's not had that many events. He's Here quite we go. new to the this scene. This could be game over now. I mean, Son, inside to Hulle. Played all the way across the box. Ronaldo, just in front of goal, and that will be a recycle. He's got maybe, one more chance. Maybe one more chance. Messi Blink with on. the heading. Messi, Ronaldo, everything needs to be perfect Look at now. Look the, oh, the, the beautiful screen. run there. Suarez, in the bottom of your screen, you can feel the pressures on him now. But it's him against the world. Can he get in front? Get rid of that ball. There you have it. Filthy P has won it.
He has confirmed his place in Canada. Place number 27 is going to Canada now. And more importantly, the fifth place from here. He will be representing Canada in London. Yeah, fantastic uh, from Filthy P. And what that makes it, that's five different nations from this American qualifier, which will be represented in London, the USA. Mexico, Colombia, Brazil, and now Canada will be represented in that huge grand final from this region in London. What a game that was. 4-3, another very, very yeah, tight game. Another great game again. A region full of different countries that are going to be at that grand final now. Five, and I just can't wait to see so who's going to be next. Test. Who's going to be next in that in that pot? We've pretty much, everything that this region can offer, you know, country-wise, they're all involved in that grand final. It speaks volumes of this competition. Yeah, it speaks volumes of this competition. Not only that, but the quality from around um, this, yeah. this this continent uh, from the Americas. The potential has as well. You're thinking in ahead. Esports, football clubs getting involved. Yeah, when we are in Munich, it was England, Germany. They seem to dominate more of the positions, the 10 positions available. Here, we've had five places. We've had five completely different uh, nations taking those five places and it's so refreshing to see this time Filthy from Canada. It is indeed it was a very close win 4-3 in the end Filthy P 2-0 down in the first leg back 2-2 two -two, and then 1-4-3 in the end. Yeah let's head over to jump with your winner Filthy P. The next winner has been decided congratulations Filthy P you have booked your next ticket to London and if I had to sum up that performance I think resilience is the easiest way to explain it because you got down early and then you or ended up able to tie it up, and then you pulled yourself ahead, regardless of the fact that it did end up to, down to the wire. So what did you do to finally pull out that very narrow victory? Oh, I seen that he was jockeying in the midfield with his, uh, with his player, so he gave me a lot of space to attack forward, so I just waited for the right pass every single time, and both of my goals came off like right passes. It was a goal. This first game, like, first half when I was down to nothing, I thought it was over, All right? Then... You know, you just got to believe, and then I did. I believed in myself, and now I'm going to London. You are, and with every goal that you scored, it seemed as your emotions were just getting higher and higher. We could hear it in the back of the studio. The yells were just getting louder and louder. You're representing Canada. What is that like, and what does it mean to you? Uh, it, means, it means the world to me to represent my country, like Canada, my city, Toronto. You know, it means, it means the world. Like, you know, I, I, I wish, like, they're behind me when I'm in London. Now, there's always the, the, the eternal debate of, you know, NA versus, London, or NA versus EU, the European powerhouses. You're representing Canada. You're representing North America. What are you going to do to help prepare yourself for these powerhouses that you're looking to see and looking to be playing against? Uh, I'm going to play a lot of friendlies against uh, other pros in NA, you know, get my practice up, you know, pr play with uh, Roma Aman. He qualified uh, earlier this morning. So playing with him is going to prepare me for um, London. Well, he pulls out the resilient win, the narrow victory over STDX Dylan, and it is going to be Filthy P going ahead to London and getting a chance at that 200,000 prize pool. Very few tickets remain. Guys, what do we have next?